hello there, boys and girls. I hope you are having an awesome day today. It's Miss Watkins here, and today we'll be learning about bar graph. I want you to put on your thinking caps because we're about to think. And here are our objectives for today. At the end of this video, you will be able to state what is a graph, recognize bar graphs, observe bar graphs to draw a conclusion. That means you will know what is a graph, be able to identify a bar graph when you see one, and look at a bar graph to give information or to tell a story. Hmm. Have you ever noticed every day in your classroom, your teacher gives you different options for lunch? Then she asks students to raise their hand for what they want. That's because we all like different foods. Do you know that a graph can be used to show that information? What is a graph, you may ask? A graph is a picture that gives you information. Graphs tell an awesome story. Now, today, our focus is on a special type of graph called a bar graph. And there are certain things to look for so that when you see one, you will know one. Repeat after me. When I see it, I will know it. Good job. When recognizing a bar graph, there will be numbers. Yes, numbers like one, two, three, four, and five. There will also be pictures or words and those pictures and words will be there to guide you along the way. And lastly, there will definitely be bars in different colors. And these are how the bars look. They're like a tall rectangle. And they will always be in different colors so that they don't confuse you. So whenever you see these bars, you will know that that is possibly a bar graph. Now, here's the fun part. Here's your first example of a bar graph. Let's look at it and examine it to make sure that this is definitely a bar graph. What all do you see? Do you remember the important things to recognize a bar graph? The first clue I see are numbers, 0 to 10. Then I see pictures of fruits. And the last thing I see are the different colored bars. This is definitely a bar graph. Give yourself one pat on the shoulder. Now, let me explain what is happening here. These fruits are here because we all like different fruits. We have an orange, a banana, a pear, and an apple. Next, the numbers are here to show how many people like each fruit? Did you get that? Let me explain it again for you. See, all of us like a certain fruit. And so a group of people were showing these fruits and they were asked which fruit did they like best. These numbers here represent how many people like each fruit. Let's take a look. Let's look at the fruit banana. 
Use your finger to see where the bar stops and then follow the line until you get to the number. How many people like bananas? Good job! Seven people like bananas. Pretty easy, right? Let's go on. Remember I told you that graphs give information? Well, that's exactly what's happening here. This graph is giving information about how many people like each fruit. Let us draw some more conclusions to see how many people like other fruits. They want to know how many people like apples and how many people like oranges. Let's look for the apple. Point to the apple. Now, use your finger and go all the way up to the top of the bar. Now move across the line to the number. How many people like apples? Excellent. Ten people like apples. Let's try the oranges. Find the oranges. How many people like oranges? Let's move all the way up. And move across the line to the number. Good job. Five people like oranges. Kiss your brain. You are a pro. Let's get in some more work. We have some animals. Do you know these animals? Good. We have a cat, dog, fish, and a bird. We have pictures and words to help us. Then we have the number of students who like each pet. Here are our bars that will tell us the information we need to know. Let's go to number one. Many like cats. Find the cat. Good. Now tell me how many students like cats. Let's see. First, you find the cat. Then move all the way up to the top of the bar. And now move across the line. How many students like cats? Good job. Seven students like cats. Let's put a tick in the box. Good job. Let's go to number two. How many like fish? Let's see. Here's the fish. Go all the way up. Now move across the line. Four students like fish. Last one, number three. How many like dogs and birds all together? What does the keyword all together tells us? Good job. It tells us that we need to add. Who remembered that? <laughs> I am quite sure you did. Now, what do we need to add? They want to know how many students like dogs and how many students like birds. Let's see. Find the dogs. Go all the way up. 
Now move across the line. Good job. Eight students like dogs. Let's find the birds. That's a short bar. Move all the way to the left. Follow the line. How many students like birds? Excellent. One student like birds. All together means we need the plus sign. We now have an addition number sentence. And we know how to solve this, right? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Put it in a box and make it cheesy. <laughs> Let's draw our circles to find our sum. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. Now let's count them all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How many students like dogs and birds all together? Nine. Excellent job. Pat yourself on the shoulder five times and give yourself some kisses. You are doing an excellent job. Let us recap and think about all of the things we have learned today. A graph gives us information. There are numbers, pictures, words, and bars to let us know we are looking at a bar graph. And after we have examined the bar graph, we can draw some conclusions because we know a lot of information. Well, boys and girls, I think you did a super, super job today. Until next time, see you later.